So hey guys, welcome back for this new video. Um, as uh, you guys know, uh, I love driving SUV and uh, I have discovered that uh, they still made the G-Class in the old fashion. Not like the brand new one with uh, all digital things inside like you know the most expensive one that you get from Mercedes and um, during a quick trip to Algeria uh, one of my friends told me oh we still have the G-Class made for the uh, Algerian market I said um, which one and he said the old one I said seriously he said yeah and uh, he told me there's a huge difference between uh, both G-Class which is the the one that it's really fancy with electronic things inside and the old one as you guys can see here uh, you can see it it's uh, G-Class made in Algeria but just wait I will tell you I, you probably um, uh, have some question about the price because it's already on the title of this video and yes it's not really expensive so um, as you guys I have discovered this like a few days ago I was very really surprised I think it's great because uh, you can get the G class which is the professional one uh, without all of that fancy things and by the way if uh, you guys uh, need the G class to go far and without having any um, electronic issues uh, I think that the G-Class, which is the 300 CDI, it's a diesel engine, uh, 3 liters, uh, 6 cylinders. It's probably um, the one that it will take you very, very, very far. Uh, yeah, if um, I need a car to go like uh, um, 10,000 kilometers away, like, you know, when you have to cross... Um, all countries in Africa that will be the good one because uh, there is no electronic things on it except the um, uh, uh, ECU engine computer uh, something like this um, engine computer unit and that's it uh, most of the things inside are just like uh, mechanical anyway uh, as you guys I was surprised you can go and check by yourself on YouTube what I'm showing to you right now and uh, it's very cheap not really expensive and right now the, um, uh, I think it's the AMS let's see uh, what's the name uh, yeah it's the AMS MB that made a G-Class in Algeria now you can buy it um, how um, I was sure about the price mentioned on the on the um, title it's because it's written many times and almost the same price on different websites so they are not lying about the price and I'm not lying about the price they say that you can um, as an individual right now because that car was made for the, um, the purpose and the needs of the military in Algeria and um, the state and most of the service of the state that they need car to go very far because you know in Algeria in north of Algeria you, you still have some good road so you don't need a, an SUV but at some point of Algeria when you go to the Sahara you have no choice than use that kind of car because you cannot go with a, uh, a normal car to south of, uh, of Algeria I think your car will broke before you arrive in Taman Rasset but anyway uh, now they are uh, making the G-Class for uh, or here it's in Dinar but we will uh, check that on some other uh, website and this price it's equivalent about 
51, 52,000 uh, euro. Uh, it's almost the price, uh, almost the same in US dollar. In British pound, you can just remove the 20%. Anyway, you have it here, and you can check it, uh, Algeria expat here. You can go to another website that you can see uh, that G class here. And by the way, on this model on the Algerian market, you have the snorkel, um, which is great if you have to go um, uh, like a place where there is water and everything. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, as we said, um, they say they are making the, um, the one for the individual in Algeria, they want to buy it and uh, it's um, the same price as we have seen here so yeah not a huge difference uh, what else um, yeah uh, here again it's on the uh, amsmb.com uh, site as you can see it's like police car uh, yeah there's a lot of uh, class G police car in Algeria and I think it's probably the, the good choice because they can get that car almost everywhere. As we said, uh, it's a C300 CDI, six cylinder in V and the power, it's 183 uh, horsepower. Uh, what else? It's a automatic gearbox and the average consumption is around 11.4 liter per 100 kilometers so i'm sorry for the guy that they lives uh in country where they're using uh um, a mile per gallon or something like this i i do not know how to convert this anyway uh what else let's see if we go to the msmb msmb just to let you know guys they made most of the mercedes straight in algeria they are not uh, doing any uh, factory in germany so they do everything there in algeria that's for the algerian market and that's why when you click on project here uh, let's see, you have truck, utilities, SUV. Unfortunately, um, we cannot open this very big. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, as you guys can see, there's the G class for uh, SUV, there's G class for firefighting, and there's G class for uh, freighter. Uh, what else? But they furnish almost everything about all spare parts for uh, this kind of car and we can check here on this video this G-Class was um, on a show in Algeria and it's very interesting because you can see how the car is inside and by the way we can check with another website to see that it's not a fake So it's the old one. Let's cut this. So tire looks nice, especially the wheels or the rims. Let's see, let's just move the rear. Let's go check. So, oh. let's do that very quick. G class. Oh, this is the interior. Um, as we said, this is the minimalist one. 
and this is the one that you can get very far without all electronics inside so I know that some people they will dislike that kind of design but to be honest um, I will probably think to get one of course if you get one like this you can uh, you can change some stuff you know you can uh, you can add some uh, stuff to reduce the noise and vibration you know there's uh, a lot of stuff that you can do you can redo the the seat you can redo uh, a lot of things you know uh, you can probably find uh, after market uh, equipment So very interesting and see I don't know what's this but so you can sit at the rear which is great I am I have uh, oh this is the engine which is the diesel engine and I have forgot to say that um, this G-class uh, made in Algeria it's for um, seven person it's like uh, you have two two in the front three in the rear and two other in the rear so seven people inside this car which is great uh, after I don't know if it's uh, allowed to use uh, in Europe because it's a diesel one so I don't know about Arabic but anyway uh, let's see we can see that it's a 3.0 CDI 184 horsepower this is the G 300 CDI what else they have uh, ABS ESP and other stuff I don't know because I don't read Arabic anyway uh, let's see I found another video uh, talking about uh, some things it, it, it was written discontinued um, I think no it's not discontinued because you can uh, still buy one in Algeria but um, I don't know um, I think um, because I still have friends there and I think I can probably buy one but I don't know if uh, people from outside the country can buy one not sure about it but anyway they still made this car and I have just proved to you that uh, um, with um, all different website and YouTube video that I have uh, shown to you before and uh, of course here it's ri it's written ultimate off-road G vegan yeah of course that's the ultimate one but it's not discontinued it's it's still made so uh, if we take a look on this one this one uh, look almost the same as we have seen um, on the previous video uh, but this one um, has uh, beautiful equipment snorkel look different there's the front um, uh, bumper so let's let's check this let's see the rims are, are almost the same uh, what else uh, what else let's see uh, there's the music uh, it's not great let's do that so there's that kind of things here where you can put your foot to get uh, inside the car as you can see here you put the plate in the other version the plate goes here um, what else yeah I think you cannot sit behind that one of course you have um, this stuff to um, get your trailer uh, and of course with the G wagon you can go almost anywhere let's see let's move this here so on the uh, 
other version you can sit at the rear on this you can so it's great that on the brand new one from Algeria you can you can sit at the rear so seats here are great looking good and it's a very minimalist uh, one let's see they are going to open yeah it's almost the same about the Algerian one I think uh, it's easy to clean this one you know very easy so the guy is seated inside he's going probably to uh, drive the car And of course, you have um, uh, everything's to um, to use for the different.